<laughs> um, I wouldn't say anything clicked. Uh, sometimes cricket can be like that. You know, it's hard to score runs every game. Um, you know, um, you can get done by a bit of skill quite often, or you know, you can you can get quite stiff. Um, so I wouldn't say anything clicked. Um, I think that's been coming to be honest for a few games. Yeah, I think we've got a great side. Um, I think we've got a great list, full stop, but I think the playing eleven's really, really strong. Um, the way they all sort of chipped in the other night um, shows how strong we are as a unit, as you said. Um, you know, there's, it's not like we've got any sort of uh, one bloke that stands out, bar rash. Um, you know, everybody puts a hand up um, when it comes down to it. Was it pretty inspirational? Yeah, it's a great effort for Rash to be able to come back and uh, and be fit and play the way he did. You know, sometimes when you see guys come back from injury, they sort of back off it a bit. Um, you know, and don't sort of go as hard. But the way that he came back and gave it a full crack um, was top draw. Well, your partnership opening stand with, with Jake Weatherall. Obviously, you both like to, to have a crack. The other night you were on song, Jake. Probably could have pushed maybe some singles to use, use some strike at certain point. You had a few dot balls there. Do you talk about when one of you is hot to let the other one go, or are you both happy to have a crack in the power play? Well, we both, we both like different matchups um, as batters. Um, so, it, if anything, mate, it's more about communicating and you know knowing when to get up the other end uh, and give your teammate the strike. When, when you say you like different matchups, is that against? Bowlers that you're facing? Yeah, left arm, right arm, um, whether it's turning in or away from you, uh, wrist spin, that, that sort of a thing. So, you know, we both, you know, you sit down, you look at your numbers and you look at who you've been most effective against um, and you sort of go from there and you, you sort of treat it as a little yardstick. So, you know, when a wrist spinner comes on, um, he'll know that he sort of gives me the strike, whereas if it's, you know, a left arm seamer, um, you know, I'll try and get him on strike. What is it like with, with Sydney Thunder, Alex Hales gets licensed to throw the bat from ball one, whereas Usman pushes the ball around a bit when he's hot. Do you have that instruction at all from Dizzy or not? No, not quite. If, more than anything, it's watch the ball and react. Um, you know, the game, the game's only as hard as you make it sometimes and, and it certainly doesn't need complicating, especially with a four over power play this year. Yeah. Bill, you're well placed at the top end of the table now. Do you feel like the next month, well, three or four games, three at home, one away. It's a really good opportunity to set up your season. Yeah, definitely. Um, but we know that we're going to have to play well for a lot longer than three or four games. Um, you know, as I said before, we've got a great side. We're, we're coming together really nicely. Um, and there's still guys in the team that, you know, haven't sort of fired as much as they would have liked. So, you know, we've got some really hungry guys in the dressing room, um, including myself, that want to do really well. How much is an advantage to have that group of guys? Obviously, played in, in Tassie and then up, up Brisbane for the first four games. To have that cluster of home games, uh, how much of an advantage is that? And is there certain ways to play Adelaide Oval that you guys are good at? Yeah, definitely. Um, probably the biggest advantage would be actually when you're fielding part of the bowling unit because of the funny dimensions of the ground. Um, you know where you can steal a few yards and when you can afford to be 15 yards off the rope on the straight boundary or you know, whether you have to pull yourself a couple of yards square if you're on the short boundary. So I'd say those are the big advantages because um, the other night we actually got a couple of catches you know, on the square boundaries in you know, positions that it would sort of take a bit of home ground now to know. The strikers since before your time here have a pretty impressive record on What is it about that clash? Have you played in one now? Or? Yeah, I've played in one so far. Um, it's just a great night, I think. Um, the fans get right up for it. Um, they're always behind you down here, um, but they get right up for it on that night. Um, I'm not sure if there's any fireworks, or is there fireworks this year? No fireworks. OK, well, that will be a shame. But either way, it'll be a great game of cricket, and I'm sure there'll be plenty down there. And the players really embrace playing on that night? Yeah, well, as a player, um, you always want to play in front of as many people as possible in the best atmosphere possible. Um, and that's exactly what New Year's Eve is. <laughs> Salty, just a word on Danny Briggs. Obviously, you know him well um, through your playing days in Sussex. How good is it to um, <laughs> see him performing well at this time of the tournament? And, and how important is he going to be going forward? 
Yeah, Briggs is a top bowler. Um, you know, he's really shown everybody how good he is uh, at the Gabba and then here the other night. Um, and long may that continue, to be honest. I know just how good he is. I've played with him for so long. Um, but I'm really glad that he's showing everybody. Mate, we spoke about uh, the, the good things the strikers are doing. Is there an area of improvement that you're looking at? I mean, the middle order, I guess, hasn't really fired as a unit yet. Um, you could say that, yeah. Um, but then again, I'd say the middle order have been put in some fairly tricky positions. Um, so I think more than anything, um, it's just about going back to yourself and, and knowing your game and what you do best. I think that's what most of the chats are about. Um, because if we all sort of take care of our individual performances, it will come together as a team. And fair scorchers, obviously, uh, they're still winless. But on paper, they're, they're a strong team. Obviously, a couple of good English batsmen that come across and played the first game against you guys on Monday. There's a serious threat still uh, tomorrow night? Yeah, definitely dangerous side. Um, you know, with the firepower that they've got, it, it'd be silly to sort of count them out of anything. Um, they've got some top players. I mean, the two Englishmen, um, Colin Munro is one of the best that I've been lucky enough to play with. Um, so, you know, you can't discount them ever, really. Oh, beautiful.